What's up everybody? Welcome to yet another tutorial and today Today we are talking Final Cut Pro 10 and some of my favorite tips that have really made my editing way more enjoyable, much smoother and fast. So get your keyboards, get your notes, open Final Cut and let's get cracking. All right, first things first, let's talk about linking music to your video clip. This probably has happened to you many, many times where you decide that you wanna delete a clip and then as soon as you do that, bam, the music goes with it. And obviously this is not something that we want. And it all has to do with the small little connection that you see here. It's a very tiny green dot. And it's telling me that this music clip is connected to the above video clip. And the way to do that is very simple. You just click on the video that you wanna keep and then command option and then hit the music clip and you could easily see that the connection moved from the middle clip to the first clip. And now I could easily just hit the middle clip, backspace, and it's gone, and my music is still there. Next three tips are somehow related, and they all have to do with this option that we see here, which is select, trim, position, and range. I'll be only focusing on trim, position, and range selection, and I'll tell you how I use them. Let's start with trim. The shortcut for it is T. So I just hit T and as you can see, the cursor changed to a trim kind of icon. And now the way I use it is, let's say I have a timeline set and I want to override one clip over the other without changing the length of my video or my timeline. So I just put the cursor in the middle and then I drag to the right. And as you can see, it's chopping off from the second video clip and adding from the first. And I can obviously go the other way around. This really helps in just maintaining the overall length of the timeline without really changing much in it. The next one, which is P, let's say I wanna reshuffle things in my timeline without also affecting the overall length or duration of my timeline. And if I hit P, as you can see that the cursor changed to a very small cursor. And now if let's say I wanna drag this up, what Final Cut will do is replace the clip with a gap without really changing the overall length of the timeline. And what I could also do is basically drag this on top of the other clip and then release it. And what Final Cut did is it basically chopped off from the next clip and then kept this one as is to maintain the overall Duration. So now let's move on to range and the shortcut for it is obviously R So as soon as I hit R you see like a mini range icon that appears below my cursor now I use the range in three different ways first one is to reduce Audio at a given point now if you look here You could see that I have my audio clipping on this section, but the overall video sound is quite good now, if I wanna reduce only the section, what I'll basically do is click and drag at the area that I want to reduce the sound on, and then I'll hit Control minus several times until I get this to a desired level. The next use of range is also to have an in and out point that I want to delete within Eclipse. So let's say I wanna delete from here to here. I select the range that I want, and then I just hit backspace and will only delete the section of the clip where I have my range set. One more thing that I do with range is let's say I have this overall timeline. I want to export only a small section of this video to probably just send it to a friend to have a look at it. What I'll usually do is I click on R and then I'll just pick the section that I want to export. So this is the only section I want to export. I go up to share, export file, save. And then once it's done, and then if I play it back, you'll see that that's the only section that I picked. Let's move on to the next tip. And this one is really helpful in bringing some of your clips from your A roll to B roll to really investigate, have a look at it, make sure you like it, and then bring it back down without affecting the overall timeline. The way I do this is basically I click on a clip that I wanna have a look at, and I hit Command Option Cursor up, and then as you could see, the clip specifically went from an A roll to B roll. And then now what I usually do is I just look at it, I pick the section that I really want, and then I just drag it back to where the gap area is. 
And then if I like it and I like where it is, I just click on it and then command option back down and then it replaces the gap area. So next one is going to be checking horizon level. So here's a clip, I'm gonna play it quickly. What I wanted to do is check whether this orange is centered within my clips. What I'll do is I'll just go to view and then I'll say show horizon. And now you can see there's a vertical line and the horizontal line showing me where the middle of the clip is. Now obviously the orange is not very well centered. So what I'll do is basically scale my clip and then click on transform and then move it somehow in the middle. And now this is in a good place and I like where it is very well centered. So if I play this again now, you could see that the orange is in the middle. Now the next tip is something that I constantly use the entire time. Instead of just scrolling, I just say I want to quickly snap out of this. What I'll do is I'll click Shift Z and then Final Cut will zoom out my entire timeline and now I have everything showing. So that's that and then one final tip for you is let's say that your video is now in a good place, you like it, you like where it is, but you want to share it on social media, let's say Insta Stories, Snapchat, TikTok, you know, all the vertical formats that you have. Now Final Cut has an amazing smart tool. It's been serving me quite well and it will basically duplicate the project and create it in a vertical format without me having to create a new project. And the way to do this is basically go to your project, right click and then click on duplicate project as. And then Final Cut will ask you what you want. So let's call it FCP 10 vertical. And then I'll click on vertical. And then I'll hit the smart conform. And what smart conform means is Final Cut will analyze your video and then will make its best guess to give you the most dominant movement within your clip and center it within this vertical format. Click on OK. And now we'll just wait for Final Cut to analyze the video. <sighs> How was your weekend, guys? It's getting hot here. Yeah, take your time. Okay, so now we have the duplicate project. If I just double click on this, you could tell that my timeline is a vertical format and it got really the subject in the clips quite well. This is a talking head, so it got it spot on. And that's it for me, guys. These are the eight tips I wanted to share with you today in Final Cut. Let me know if you end up using them or you find them beneficial. And see you in the next video.